Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. I'd like to welcome you to another rendition of our From the Vault series, Original Art. And in this series, we'll focus on three pieces, two from Phil Hester and one from Marat Michaels. So, Phil Hester, let's get started with him. Um, He's been a primarily a pencer and inker, but he also has been writing. Um, he has been the penciler for Swamp Thing, um, Aliens Purge, Green Arrow, um, The Black Terror for Dynamite, uh, Green Hornet. Wonder Woman, his own creator, creator own series like Fire Breather. Um, I got these two pieces from Phil Hester years ago at Phoenix Comic Con, maybe, I don't know, five to eight years ago, two, actually five, probably about five to six years ago, makes more sense. Um, seemed like a really nice guy and very soft-spoken. Um, saw him several years in a row at Phoenix Comic Con. But the first piece we have is Green Hornet cover for number 14. And this is the, the Dynamite series from 2010. It started, and this would be from 2011, I believe. And this is the B cover. It's a 1 in 10 variant. Here is the comic book itself. There's me. So, we look. I don't know yet. The little horn, it gets cut off a little bit at the bottom. But that is it. So, excited to have it. Um, not like a huge Green Hornet fan, but it was an opportunity to buy uh, cover art from a pretty cool dude for a good price, so I took advantage of that. And the next one we have is from about the same time, uh, 2011, uh, same series. This is Green Hornet 12, the B cover. Uh, the same artist, Phil Hester, I believe also does the inking. I think for number 14, he actually wrote the issue as well. I don't know about number 12. But pretty darn cool, I think. Here is the comic that goes with. Put my hands out of the way.
and there is also a one in 25 black and white variant with this cover art as well. Definitely see it maybe a lot more resemblance the black and white version. So pretty cool. Glad to have those. Oh, remember for the 14th, that also came with the pencils. <clears throat> so I suspect either he inked this separately or there was another inker for this one. They used a light box and or printed it out from an image or something like that and then inked over it and then he got the ink back or for whatever reason he penciled and inked separately so that's the pencil cover So pencils and inks for issue 14. And lastly, for today, we have a page from Rot Michaels, who started with Image. He worked on some of the early Image books with Rob Liefeld. Um, and he's done some work for Marvel. X-Force, Grifter, Hawk, and Dove for DC, um, Marvel, X-Force, Deadpool. But this is Demon Slayer, issue zero, page five. Just the pencils, they're very light. There's his signature there. And this, I believe, we'll find out, is the issue that that appears in. It's the Tower Records promotional type comic or affiliated comic. So if we look at page five in here. <clears throat> there it is. All right. guys Let's see there's nothing you see he puts like X's and stuff for where he wants blacks just a tip to the anchor Instead of shading it black, you'll just put an X there. Okay.
And that's, of course, signed as well. So those are the three original art pieces that we have for today. Two cover pieces from Phil Hester for Green Hornet and one page of Demon Slayer number zero by Marat Michaels. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I certainly enjoyed showing them to you. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.